Hey guys and welcome back to Born Traveller and welcome to Scroppy in Macedonia. So I walked here from my apartment, I'm down here near the centre. So it took about half an hour to walk here from my apartment. When I booked here, it looked closer and I didn't realise how far it was out of town, so it's a bit annoying. There are buses and I will figure the buses out as I go over the next month, but for now it's not too bad walking, I need the exercise anyway. So I thought I'd start here down at the river, I thought there'd be a great starting point. And what we're going to do today is, we're going to walk to the old bazaar and have a look around the old bazaar. So this is the first thing we're going to have a look at, this old ship. Uh, obviously it's a mock-up of a ship, but, but it looks quite quick. I think it used to be a restaurant. I'm guessing it was abandoned because of COVID-19. I'm not sure, but I would imagine that's what's happened. Um, it's all boarded up, so you can't actually go in, but it's a bit of a shame, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a la landmark really here. So one of my first impressions of Scroppy, well, it's a very nice little city, um, quite quiet. I think that's my first impression of it. It's not a busy city. There's only, um, I think there's only like a million people in the whole of Macedonia, as far as I'm aware. So what is Scroppy famous for? Well, actually nowadays it's for being fake. Most of the buildings are fake. They just put like a nice facade on the outside. And I think once this is finished, it'll look similar to that. That's not really how the building was originally, but they put like a fake facade on it to make it look nice. So you get all these like colonial Georgian Victorian buildings. So why did I come to Scrappy? Well, a um, couple of things. A, I spent quite a lot of money last month buying new t-shirts, new clothes. So I need to kind of like save a bit of money. My apartment's only $255 for the whole apartment, which is actually incredible compared to 400 last month. So. This is Capital City, remember, it's absolutely fabulous uh, value. So if you want to save money, like, Scroppy's a good place to come. I think there's enough here to keep me entertained for three to four weeks. I don't think it's a huge amount, but like I say, I've got to walk quite a long way, so I don't have that much time by the time I got there and walk back. One of my first impressions of Scroppy is it's quite clean here. They do make an effort to keep the place nice, nice and clean. And there are monuments everywhere. Basically, in the old Soviet states is, Somebody, some clever person figured out that it's a corrupt way of make, get like a government official getting money basically. So what they do is they build a statue and then arts, you know, you can charge whatever you want for art. So that statue could cost $4 million. Of course, it actually only costs, they probably only pay the artist $100,000, but he charge, you know, but they'll bill them, what, 4 million. And that's a corrupt way of getting money out. And if you look, there's statues everywhere in this city. It's the same in Tbilisi. So I just got my hair cut and a shave at this very interesting place. It's a barber's and coffee shop at the same time. I didn't plan to get my hair cut, but uh, I just saw the place and I was like, oh, you know what? I really need my hair cut. And what does this remind you of? It looks like Ockrid. In fact, there's a cafe there that says Ockrid. Looks so like Ockrid. You might have noticed already, I'm not wearing sunglasses because I lost mine. So next thing, we're going to find a pair of sunglasses because I bloody left mine somewhere. So that's two pairs of sunglasses in a month broke one, I've lost one. What the cost? So I didn't find a pair of sunglasses. And what is interesting here straight away is no one takes cards. Everybody in Ockridge took cards. Here, everybody's taking cash. It's a bit annoying really, because I want to take cash out. I've been used to paying everything with cards. So that's the main difference I've noticed straight away between Scroppy and Ockridge. Everywhere took cards. I mean, even like the fake market still took cards. Here, everybody's cash only. So here's, I think this is the entrance to the old bazaar. So, got a pair of sunglasses, 200, which is about $3.50, bargain. Even I'm Arnie, real, of course. Yeah, so actually, yeah, so if you want cheap goods, old bazaar, okay, really cheap. So this is like the proper market bit. There is food as well, it's not just this, um, but there's loads, loads and loads you can do, yeah. But there's loads and loads you can buy here. And prices are pretty good, to be honest. So here we have the main food market, and there's lots going on here. Let's go and have a look. So that's the old bazaar, absolutely fantastic, I must say. Um, I definitely am going to come down here again, do more shopping. 
so you might see her again in some other videos absolutely fantastic place and i have to say the fruit and vegetables the quality especially with like potatoes honestly it's like supermarket quality back in the us or the uk absolutely fantastic so i've just come down there and turned right um i'm not really sure what this bit is but this into a lot of cafes seems to be kind of like one of the main roads uh go straight down here and turn left we get to the old stone bridge which is a very very old stone bridge so i've come around in full circle so i went that way for the bazaar walk around and then i've come back down here and now i'm going to go over there and i've just noticed something did you know that scruppy has a castle so just about a castle now i'm not going to do that definitely not do that today but uh yeah we'll do that another day so this is something i'm trying to do now rather than me walk around and tell you everything i want you to like discover it with me all youtubers now they seem to kind of like know everything about the place which i don't really like to do i like to just discover stuff um you know so if you think these videos are uneducated that's exactly how travel should be you should be naive and like learn as you go um there is another sign here of things to do so we've got the scroppy fort we can do saint church of holy savior a mosque and whatever that is kapan hani Mm, looks like some kind of bridge. Ah, Stonebridge Hotel. Ah, huh, there you go. Can't miss it. Ah, there's the Stonebridge. Found it. You see? You see? I don't get lost. So what, I think what we'll do is we'll look at the bridge, the stone bridge from this this other bridge, and then we'll go and walk over it. So this is a suspension bridge with a lot of modern art and stuff. Quite unusual some of this art as well. Look at that. The broken harp. Broken dreams. All she wanted to be was a heart player and she ended up a statue. That guy's just come for April. Definitely a one night stand that. It's got to be on it. He's been blown out. Oh, here we go. Right. Oh, I know where I am now. Right, I think I know where I am now. Oh, so we've got another ship here. Another restaurant ship here. Seems to be quite a few of them. I don't know if they're all any of them are open anymore though. So this is a nice modern bridge and then over there is the stone bridge and hopefully we can find some information about it so apparently it's quite old <laughs> i will tell you a bit more <laughs> uh, hopefully we can find out a bit more it looks like it's in the kind of main point like the main square over here so yeah we'll walk down there and then we'll go to the bridge i've come across two of these two or three of these coffee and friends and all of them are closed and i reckon the business has gone probably gone bust because of covid it's a bit sad really because that's not the only one i've seen so oh yeah established, look, established in 2001 that would be horrible if they've closed because of covid so let's have a look across the stone bridge i've got to go this way to get home anyway so let's go and again there's no information about the stone bridge Look at that, straight down there, you've got snow top mountains still. This is May and you still get snow top mountains. It's quite incredible. Um, if we look this way, uh, we've got this huge like Colosseum building. And I think you can see like in the middle it's glass. And I think what they've done is it was a glass building, they put the facade around the outside of it. Um, another ship there. Again though, look, you can see like the, the normal building, they're building the facade over it to make it look nice. Oh, that's quite cool you can sit by the river so i'll give you some information on stone bridge it was built around the 15th century and it's been a prominent uh, place in the center of scroppy ever since so it's always been like a really important you know uh, monument the old bazaar actually dates back to the 12th century they've been trading there since the 12th century so that's quite incredible isn't it um really interesting facts there so this restaurant ship is actually still open so we can go on there definitely want to go in there and have lunch or something I'll do that in another video when I'm back down here. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification button, and I'll see you next time.